in our reality, we are mostly guided by our feelings. And this is in relation to the product that we buy in the grocery store, in terms of which brands we feel most affinity towards, or what we feel like buying, um, where we feel like shopping, and also in relation to the people uh, that we call our friends or co-workers or just anyone in our environment where we tend to base our relationships with each other very much on feelings and where often misunderstandings or conflict can come up because of how we feel towards a person. Say for example that suddenly someone in your environment changes their behavior and you don't immediately understand. Um, but you kind of just feel uncomfortable with the whole thing because they are behaving in a way that's, that you experience to be attackative or that you experience to be accus you know, uh, accusing, where you feel like they're accusing you of something. So that makes you feel bad about yourself and you know, then that makes you not want to spend time with this individual anymore and that can then just lead to the end of that relationship or to some kind of conflict um, where you know oftentimes we will completely define how we interact with people based on how they make us feel where a lot of the times we won't we won't even know why we feel the way we feel in relation to someone we'll just kind of accept that that's how it is and that's just going to be kind of the foundation of our relationship with this person where sometimes that can even lead into destructive relationships where sometimes you step into a relationship with a person just because you feel an attraction towards them even though you don't know where the attraction comes from which kind of blinds you from seeing the destructive patterns that this person is actually introducing in your life or you know it blinds you from seeing the reality of what's really going on and and you know the the kind of consequences or impact that this relationship is having in your life because of your feelings because you know your feelings is what you find most valuable and what's guiding most of your decisions and actions. In fact, there is very little that we do um, that's actually based on us willing ourselves. For instance, uh, going to work. That's something where in almost every day we have to will ourselves to get up, to do what is necessary to be done for us to, you know, make money and be able to survive. But, you know, even that is actually motiva motivated by feelings or rather emotions, which is, for instance, fear of, you know, losing our job, fear of survival. So even those things that we do kind of, where we do actually base our decisions on common sense in terms of seeing that there are specific things we just need to do in order to survive in this world. Even those things are actually motivated by emotions, by energy, by internal experiences. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up and make a vlog about it is because it's, um, it's actually creating a lot of consequences in our reality. Um, where, for instance, an example would be that recently I've been having to take care of a little bird because our cat um, 
caught it and it was wounded pretty badly so it needed to be taken care of like I couldn't just release it and you know what I found is that actually my initial reaction to situations like that where I realize that I have to take care of an animal where this animal suddenly stumbles into my life and now it's kind of my responsibility to direct a situation it's like my first reaction was always like eh, I just want this out of my life like I don't really want to deal with this because it's making me feel uncomfortable or because it's disrupting my you know daily routine and I don't really feel like dealing with this so in my mind I would just kind of look for easy ways out like I would just want to put the bird outside and then just kind of convince myself that you know it'll take care of itself it, it'll it'll know what to do it's a bird it's nature it'll find its way whatever because I just wouldn't want to go through the trouble of you know investigating what I actually need to do or even making the decision of you know ending its life because it's in so much suffering because that would be too inconvenient for me like I wouldn't personally feel comfortable making that decision so you know here I could see that my relationship with this bird and with any other kind of thing that happens in my life and especially you know when it comes to other creatures other beings I could see that, you know, the fact that my relationship with other parts of my reality, uh, with that being based on feelings, this is actually creating consequences in, in the sense that, you know, I wouldn't just do what I need to do in terms of what's best for, for instance, this bird. Like, I wouldn't just make decisions based on what I know is best for the you know other people in my in my reality like I would rather base my decisions on what's most most convenient for me like I would base it on my feelings what makes me feel most comfortable and good and what causes less disruption in my comfort in my general comfort in the way that I'm living my life so I mean with kind of being able to or with being aware of what's coming up in my mind and with having a certain level of awareness where I can kind of stop myself and say okay you know um, just because this is coming up in my mind doesn't mean that this is necessarily how or who I am and how it needs to be meaning that I did pretty much immediately realize that you know I'm not going to allow these kind of thoughts and feelings and emotions that are coming up in the back of my mind I'm not gonna allow that to influence or impact my decision-making because I'm dealing with a living being here like if this was me this little bird then I would want you know this human to make the best decision possible I would want this human to be considerate to you know to to part from their own personal feelings and and preferences for a moment and place themselves in my shoes so that they would care for me the best way possible so you know this is this is an important point for each and every one of us to look at you know the extent to which we have come to accept and allow ourselves to be influenced and guided by feelings by emotions the extent to which we've allowed our reality to be shaped and directed by experiences by personal preferences you know that's the very reason for why this world is not a place that we could call heaven on earth why this world isn't a reality that's best for everyone because you know we generally choose to ignore or neglect um, what would be best for the beings in our world and reality and you know we rather choose uh, personal preferences personal desires or fears you know we rather choose to follow only our own personal experiences 
and often work our way around taking the responsible decision or work our way around, you know, making an effort or going out of our way to to do something which we actually in the back of our mind know is what's best for others because, you know, it's inconvenient for us. So the message here that I wanted to share is basically that, you know, in order to create a world wherein we would all be happy, wherein we would all be able to live comfortably without fears, you know, without um, suffering, we would have to give up on that idea and belief that our own personal feelings are most important, you know, are what's most valuable or what's most important above everything else. Um, because it's only once we're able to kind of get over that, like get over ourselves, get over our own feelings, our own desires, our own personal preferences, then we can start really doing what is best for the people around us like and and it's what's most important in for instance you know relationships wherein people are having to take care of another being that's in their hands specifically you know parent child relationships or relationships between humans and their animals which is where you as a human being like literally have another life in your hands and it's absolutely pertinent that you are able to make those choices and decisions that are best for your child and I mean it's it's also tricky here because in a lot of ways our we are very cunning in our own mind it's like we we even sometimes are able to convince ourselves that we do what's best or that we mean well, that we have good intentions, but actually if we're really honest with ourselves, then the truth is that we actually haven't really bothered to really investigate things or to really, you know, go the extra mile to truly like investigate things, like to see for ourselves what would actually really be best because we know that if we would if we were to do that, if we were to educate ourselves, we'd actually realize that we'd have to give up a lot more or we'd have to change a lot more about ourselves and who we are than we would like, uh, than we, what we would find convenient. But I mean, if you have a look at your own childhood, I'm sure that each and every one of us would have wanted our own parents to have that attitude of, you know, no matter what, doing what is best for the child and, and at least investigating what it would actually take, at least making that effort of placing themselves in the shoes of their child and, um, you know, basing their decisions on, on common sense, on, on an actual understanding of where the child is at. And unfortunately, that is very rare in this world and reality because, you know, it's not a point of blame either because from all sides we are very much impulsed and conditioned to live this way, to accept this as the way of life, to, you know, um, this whole my feelings are precious, you know, this whole glorification, glorifying of our feelings, our emotions, our internal experiences. I mean, we've even created like a religion of it. Spirituality is basically the religion of feelings, the religion of placing our own personal feelings on a pedestal. And, you know, it's time that we start realizing that, you know, creating a better world doesn't necessarily involve feelings, you know, doesn't necessarily, isn't necessarily initially going to make us feel good, you know, it isn't necessarily going to be our feelings that are going to motivate us or guide us towards doing what's necessary to be done in order to 
create a better world, create a better environment, create a better you know, childhood for our children, etc. Initially, it's going to be hard work. It's going to be like a consistent pushing ourselves against our own, or um, not against, but beyond our own feelings. It's going to be hard to kind of, you know, get over those automatic impulses that is our own personal feelings because we you know because we're just so conditioned to follow feelings and to base all our decisions on feelings and to actually lack um, that kind of strength or self-empowerment to um, to kind of be stable to kind of like be a stable individual and to do what is necessary to what is necessary to be done regardless of what thoughts, feelings, or emotions might come up in our own mind. So that is basically a point of awareness and realization that I wanted to share in this vlog as it is, you know, it's coming up in my reality at the moment where I'm being faced with this actual pattern coming up. Thanks.